news, variety, information. Now, keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. WOCA. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as we get closer to the summer, I don't know about you, but I've been thinking, hmm, maybe I'll take a road trip or, or fly somewhere. I don't know. I haven't made any plans yet. When you buy anything in the store these days, there's always this extra question as you're paying for your, your item. Would you like to buy a service contract with that? A service contract for uh, your phone, uh, for uh, of camera maybe? Uh, and and uh, sometimes the conversation goes like this. I don't know. Do, will, will I need that? Well, this will protect. It, you, you can drop it in the ocean. You could lose it off of It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll replace it. And you go, oh. Oh, well, that sounds like a good idea. Um, we're going to learn a lot more about that right now in a short period of time. Tim Meenan is on the phone. He's the executive director of the Service Contract Industry Council. And he's going to tell us the ways we can uh, protect our belongings as we go on our vacations. Good morning, Tim. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Larry? I'm okay. Where are you calling from? Actually, we're right up the road in Tallahassee, Florida. And Okay. And as you know, here in Florida, we have so many vacationers. And, I, and I'm guessing that the, a lot of the, the contracts that are utilized so that people can be made whole again in, in these kind of circumstances happen right here. I'm guessing we have a lot of them. Am I right? Absolutely. And Florida has actually one of the strongest uh, laws regulating our industry, so you can be assured your claims are going to get paid. Um, you know, a lot of folks save up all year for that summer vacation, and then one day into the drive, their car breaks down. Um, and they have to dip into the rest of the vacation savings to pay off that $1,000 air conditioning compressor repair. Yeah, right, right. If they had a service contract, they'd not only get that, but they might get a rental car uh, for the period their car was in the shop. So we, we, we strongly urge folks to consider extended warranties. Okay, so that's what I want to ask you about. Do you have to get the extended warranty at, this, at the moment you're buying the product or buying the car? Um, and does it apply to... Um, non-tangible things like air flights and things like that? No, it, it, this is only about consumer goods, Okay. Uh, your, your home appliances, your car, your, your cell phone. And you, you're certainly uh, urged to get it at the point of sale. One of the things we've done is we've put in the law that if you buy one and go home, you have 30 days to sort of read them, decide whether or not you, you're, you're happy with the mm -hmm. coverage. And if you decide for any reason you don't want it, you can make one phone call and get 100% of your money back. So really? We've well, tried to make it uh, a consumer-friendly purchase. Can you, can you, is it true in reverse, too? Can you um, buy it within 30 days? Let's say you said no at the counter when you first bought the, whatever it is you're buying. Can you say no at that point and then get you have 30 days to buy it again? So I, I would say this, on cars, or, or if you want to cover a basket of appliances uh, on a home warranty, you can do that. It, you might have missed the boat uh, on, a, on a product, because otherwise, mm -hmm. Larry, somebody might take their product home, wait for it to break, and then come in and say, now I want to buy a service okay. contract. Which, That's fair. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, does it apply? Do we... Hmm. Does it vary from store to store, or is it the manufacturers who offer the uh, the service contracts? It varies from store to store. Uh, sometimes it can be a manufacturer. Um, you, you, I, I say shop around. Uh, it takes literally five minutes to maybe review the, the coverages involved. For example, you want to get accidental damage from handling coverage on your handheld consumer electronics. If, if you are pushed in a pool, your service contract will repair or replace your phone because you know they're allergic to water. I bet you we have a lot of pushing in pools thing. around here. <laughs> I bet you that happens a lot around here. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Another good thing to look for is you can buy replacement coverage. So instead of taking your uh, television in and getting it repaired and it's sort of in the repair shop for a week or two, mm -hmm. if you got replacement coverage, you'll get a brand new TV instead of waiting for your old TV to be repaired. You'll walk out the same day that it broke with a brand new one. A temporary one or, or uh, one that just replaces uh, no, it? Uh, it it's, it's, it's a brand new replacement. So that's really? an option when you buy these things is look for replacement coverage. It doesn't come with, on cars, of course, but uh, 
certainly with an iPad, uh, rather than wait two weeks for it to get repaired, yeah. you uh, you can walk out with a brand new one the day it broke. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to talk to you. Let's say we are not on the air. We're just sitting across the table having coffee, and I'm going to ask you your opinion since you know this. Typically, I say yes to the offer to buy the contracts when it's an expensive item, and I say no if it's like a $100 item. Uh, is that a smart thing to do, to, to say no to the lower-priced items? Well, you're trying to get me fired, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One of the nice things, one of the nice things about America is, is there's lots of choices, and I, I think that's one good way to think about it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I, I, I guess, I guess well, I'm probably not unusual in that, though. Just it's, it's a personal de- decision. Well, on the, on the other hand, on the hundred dollar item, it might only cost six dollars for the service contract, and so. You, you might consider that's that if true. It's a $100 item you're going to keep for a couple of years, the $6 was certainly worth a three-year extended warranty. You, you said that Florida has some of the strongest laws regarding this. Does Do, do uh, the contracts apply differently if you have, for example, let's say I bought the contract here in Florida, but I went out to Colorado and dropped my phone in the in the snow or something, and, it, and it, it's gone. Does it, does it, the, are the laws the same? Does it apply just as strongly out there? anywhere yes the the companies that you're buying from largely are national companies with 1-800 numbers and it doesn't matter where you are you'll get your your car or your appliance repaired uh, no matter where you go and that's one of the huge selling points for items and things because if you know someone personally who bought that particular item you're interested in and something went wrong the uh, uh, speed at which the they could get that corrected is essential. So that's another great selling point. Absolutely. In fact, with uh, your cell phone, a lot of these programs, you you get pushed in a hot tub at 9 at night. You make a call on a 1-800 number at 10 at night, and at 8.30 the next morning, there is a replacement phone and a FedEx package on your doorstep. So you, you really can't beat the convenience of these products. Oh, and, and coming this Thanksgiving, it'll be delivered by drone, remember? Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> right. We're, we're going to sell a service contract on the drone as well. So. I, I bet you will. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. That, that was Kim Commando's prediction, by the way, that by Thanksgiving this year we'll see packages delivered by drone. We'll see if she was right or not about that. Okay, well, uh, so it, you mentioned vehicles a couple of times. I have a question about this. Could I get a contract on my vehicle if it's uh, not brand new? Yes. In, in fact, there are a number of companies that specialize in uh, used cars, and, and the reason is people seem to be keeping cars longer these days. So uh, the longer you keep it, the, the, the more valuable a service contract can become. Can you have a, a length? Like, could, could I buy a contract that was just for the vacation? Like, let's say I'm going on a two-week vacation. I just want a two-week contract. You know, we don't have that, but that's an excellent idea, Larry. I'm going to take it back to our uh, our membership. Okay, Cause, you know, and the reason I'm asking is because of RVs. A lot of people have an RV. It sits in their yard, you know, uh, 11 months and two weeks out of the year, and then <laughs> for two weeks out of the year, it's out on the road. Yeah. No, that's a great thought. We'll we'll uh, give it some thought. And uh, sometimes people like to know that those uh, contracts are transferable just in case they give it to their children. Hmm. That's excellent. That's an excellent thought. Uh, Florida law, for example, requires that they be transferable. You might have to pay a $20 transfer fee, but the other good thing is if you sell the car or give it to your child, the, the third party can get it. Or you can get a refund. If you, if you buy one for five years and halfway through you decide you don't need the service contract anymore, you make a phone call, you get half your money back. So we give back the unearned portion of what you paid for it. Wow. Do we have to have the paperwork on hand? Uh, I'm, I'm bad at keeping paperwork, and I certainly won't have it in my glove compartment if, mm-hmm. my, if my phone falls in the water or something. Uh, do, is all of that stuff electronically stored someplace so that, let's say I say, I, I know I had a contract on this, but I don't have the paperwork. Can I just call somebody and, and they can confirm that I had the contract? Yeah, while we urge you to keep your paperwork, in fact, that's not item six on my list here, uh, <laughs> I will tell you, mm-hmm. uh, if you go back to the dealer where you bought one, they'll absolutely have a record of it. If you uh, bought one at Best Buy, they'll have a record of it. Um, 
so that won't be a problem. We, we don't deny claims because you lost the contract. This is good stuff. I mean, a lot of people are probably going to be very glad that they have a contract, especially if they're traveling and, and run into a circumstance that could ruin their vacation. Uh, Tim, thank you for taking time out of your day, and uh, I want to ask you next time about the the hundred dollar item. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, investigative journalism at its finest, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was you a fun guest. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for being on the air with us today. Absolutely. Take care. All right. We will take a little break and be right back. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and high